have seen Mab, and she has been frozen into a lifeless statue of ice. Ice always melts in the spring, mortal. Perhaps the Lady of Spring can tell you what may be done. She of the flowers. She of the forest. Lady Ceres, may I ask a question of you? Anything. I have seen Mab, Lady of Dreams, and she has been placed under a terrible curse. She's been frozen like a block of ice. Lady of Spring, what can be done for her? Frozen, you say? Let me think. I do recall a legend, yes. You must fill a shaft of crystal with purest sunlight. With that you can thaw her. But I must warn you, you cannot take any physical objects into the land of dreams while you are asleep, my lady. You will have to travel there awake. Our big night, my widow cuddles. We're gonna blow that rotten old Etheria right out of the sky. And we just might take the rest of the world with it, won't we, kissy boy? <laughs> It's too bad there won't be anyone left to admire my beauty, Cuddles. What do you have in your mouth? Let me see. No matter, you naughty boy. Let's go watch the fireworks.
seen Ceres, and she has told me that I must enter the land of dreams while awake. How can I do this, great ladies? You must cheat the fabric of reality. You must ride on the wings of a dream. There is only one who can do such a thing. Our nephew, the weaver of dreams, You will need this. It sometimes pleases our nephew to surround himself with the darkest terrors of night. Farewell, Valenice.
Excuse me. Hello? What do you want? I... I need your help. I help no one. I am the weaver of dreams, and that is all. Go away. Go now, before I weave you a nightmare that will turn your hair white. Your aunts, the fates, gave me this object to get past your nightmare. My business with you is most urgent. You captured my nightmare in that little thing. How amusing. How irritating. I suppose I should have had a second creature on hand, but I seldom weave more than one at a time. Nightmares are solitary creatures, you know. They will destroy each other on sight. Dream Weaver, listen to me. Oberon and Titania are missing, and Mab has been horribly cursed. I must reach her Isle of Dreams while awake and cure her, or all will be lost. My precious sister is missing. You must go to Mab immediately. Wait, I will give you something. When you ride this magical tapestry, you can travel through dreams in the flesh. But be warned, you will be vulnerable. Hurry, mortal, hurry. Valenice of Daventry, my lady Mab. I urgently need your help. Militia has ignited the volcano and Oberon and Titania cannot be found. Militia! That vicious creature enchanted me so that she could destroy us all. Well, she won't succeed. You must send the winds to find the king and queen. I? How am I to do that? You must harness the wind, Sirocco, and ride into the top of the Mountain of Winds. King Leventhal will surely help you. I must go, brave Valenice. I must try to hold back the volcano's explosion. Thank you for freeing me from my prison of ice. If we all survive this, I will send you only sweet dreams for the rest of your life.
in heaven's name was that? I've never seen a creature so swift. Valenice of Daventry. Your Majesty, we must summon Oberon in Titania. The Lady Militia plans to detonate the volcano and all of Eldritch will be destroyed. Winds, come to me. Come to me now. Fly and find the Lord and Lady of Etheria. has ignited the volcano. Are you sure of this? See for yourself, my Lord Oberon. Sweet Mother Nature! We thank you, mortal. You are valiant and brave. Come, my husband. We must try to undo what has been done. I only pray that we can. Pasta back into his rightful form! It's our only chance! Rosella! Get him! No! No! Get him! The son of Oberon and Titania? What are you doing here? Rosella, where are we? What's going on? My dear princess, I have something so special in store for you. I hope you enjoy hot weather. <laughs> oh! 
We must hurry. <laughs> My daughter, oh, I thought I'd never see you again. Mama, I'm so sorry. I saw the castle and I jumped in to see and the troll king, I mean Edgar, well, he just... Edgar? No, you'll not touch her. Out of my way, whelp. I enslaved your little mind once. Don't think I'll be so kind this time. Never again, Malicia.
Alanis, I cannot thank you enough. You have not only saved our world, you have given us back our greatest treasure, our son. Your son? Edgar? You? You know our son? <laughs> well, you see, I was stolen as a baby by an evil fairy named Lalote. She twisted my body and tried to twist my mind, but somehow I knew I was not her son. Then Rosella appeared. I knew she was... special. She released me from my slavery to Lalote, and I went home to Etheria. We were so happy. The whole kingdom was overjoyed. We held a ball in our son's honor and... <gasps> our boy vanished from the gardens on the night of the party. We were crushed. We set off to search for him immediately. Now I know it was all part of Malicia's evil plot. Something went terribly wrong with you, my sister. Let us start over again, shall we? <coughs> Rosella. It was I who lured you into this world. I kidnapped you. I know you can never forgive me, but please let me assure you that I was not in my right mind. I would never have done that had I known. Edgar, would you show me the sights of Etheria? After all, it's what I came for. Rosella, you've been in my heart since the day I first saw you. Rosella, may I... may I have the honor of courting you? Yes, you may. to be honest. 